Hey, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm teaching you five different ways to do a slip stitch. Please continue to watch and really help me out if you could like, share, and uh, comment on my video. Thanks! Hey everyone, this is five different ways to do a slip knot. Hope you enjoy the video. The first way that I'm going to show you is what I like to call the over the finger method. So what you're going to do is take, in one hand you're going to take the tail end and the other hand you're going to take the ball end. So you have one end in each hand and since I'm right handed what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tail end and wrap it around my index finger and then I'm going to take the other end, which is the ball end, I'm going to wrap it around my index finger, but I'm going to do it in the opposite direction that I just did the tail end. And then you pull the back over the front, and then you just stick your needle through, or your hook through, and then you have your slip stitch. So to show you again, so you have your tail end and your ball end. You're going to take your tail end and you're going to wrap it around your index finger. And now you're going to take the ball end and you're going to wrap it around your index finger but in the opposite direction. Now you take the back loop, pull it over the front loop, put your crochet hook in and then just tighten. And then from there, you can stop your chain stitch or whatever stitch you're going into. The second way I'm going to show you is actually by lying the yarn down method. This way, you lay the yarn on a flat surface and you make like a U shape. Then you take the ball end of the yarn and put it over the tail end. Take your hook in the middle of the loop and go under the tail end and grab the ball end with your hook and just pull it through, grab both ends and pull it tight and then grab your ball in and pull that tight and you can start your chain stitch from here. And there you have the second way. When I was a little kid learning to crochet, this is how I would do a slip knot. You take both ends in one hand and make a loop shape. Then I put my index finger and thumb in, made in between the loop and make one twist. Then I grab the ball in between your index finger and thumb and you pull up from there. Then you can just insert your hook and start your crochet. Pretty easy way to learn. And I'll show you one more time how to do this. So you just take the both ends in one hand, you put your index finger and thumb in the middle of your loop, then you take the ball end in between your index finger and thumb, and then you just pull. Then you put your hook in, and from there you can start your crochet. This next way is actually how I do it now, and it's a lot like I did it when I was a kid. So I take both ends of the yarn in one hand and I have a loop at the top. I insert my hook through the loop and then I make a twist and then I grab the ball end with the hook and just pull it through and start my chain stitch from there. It's really easy. So to go over it one more time, what I do is I take both ends of the yarn in one hand and I have a loop at the top, I insert the hook, make a twist, grab the ball in, and just pull that through that loop, and then I can start my crochet from there. Very, very easy. This next way is kind of how you would start doing a magic ring. So you take the tail end of your yarn in your hand, and you wrap the ball end around your two fingers. Then you insert your hook underneath the tail end and you grab the ball end. And from there you just pull up and you make your knot. And you can start crocheting from there. And again, to show you one more time, you take the tail end of your 
yarn in your hand and then wrap the ball end around two fingers. You then go underneath your tail end and pull up the ball end and then you have the start of your slip stitch and it's just that easy. Now remember when you're working your chain when you come back make sure that you don't work into your slip stitch. Thank you for watching. What's your favorite way to make a slip stitch? Please comment below. Um, if you want to know what hooks that I use, I'll add my Amazon affiliate link below. I'll add what I started out with and then I'll add the ergonomic set that I use now. It really helps me since I crochet so much. Um, please follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave all the links below, below for you to check out. And, um, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks again for watching.